In my pet project, which is a deck building application for a board game, I have more than 4,000 cards. And every now and then you want to search for those cards. So I had the search functionality for years, but it was built using outdated libraries and also was kind of crappy. As an example, this is the old version of the website. When I type call, I get five results back. And on the updated version, when I type call, I get lots of results. So what is the difference? So the previous version was built on top of the React Autosuggest library with Autosuggest Highlight library, and those both libraries are outdated as hell. React Autosuggest wasn't updated for three years, so it was not nice. But also implementation-wise, it didn't really do anything sophisticated. If we look how the suggestions are made, we get the cards, we get the search key, and then we just filter all the cards by checking them against that search key. This code has been written more than three years ago, and I don't really understand it anymore, but we clearly see that it looks for a search key at the beginning of the search term. So if I search for names, then it just grabs the basically like a prefix or this first part of this search search value or search star, you know, like, I don't know how we call it. And the last problem was that that auto-suggest was the last lingering piece of material UI that left in my application, and I was on the quest of getting rid of material UI for good. So first of all, I needed a component that would accept some input and also a collection of items, and then would allow me to visualize only the sub-collection of those items that correspond to my search input. And the great candidate for that was use combo box hook from the downship library, because that use combo box hook is the one that allows to build that autocomplete input experience. And since it's just a hook, it gives me all the building pieces, but doesn't force my hand in any particular way regarding how exactly I should implement my UI, which is awesome. What this use combo box hook does is that it provides me with a bunch of things like whether the drop down suggestion list is open, it gives me the menu properties, the input properties, the highlighted index, and different other stuff. But use combo box has nothing to do with the search functionality itself. It just provides you with the value, and I myself need to figure out some kind of way how should I find those items I need to visualize. And since some of my users told me that they are limited by the fact they need to know the name of the card precisely in order to search for it, and it always search for the name of the card at, from the beginning of the string, so they need to know exactly how the card kind of how the card name starts. So, for example, if you try to type blood, the previous version was able to find only these five cards, while the new version is able to find a lot more cards where word blood could be in the beginning, in the middle, at the end, basically anywhere in the title of the card. Also, when the word is not complete, it still finds both block, cold, blood, and all other type of words just by this piece of prefix anywhere in the word. And this type of search, when we tolerate mistakes, is called fuzzy search. And for this purpose, there is a super lightweight library called Fuse.js, which gives you very nice and elegant and very tiny uh, implementation of the fuzzy search. The idea is simple. You instantiate Fuse object with, with the data you're going to search through, which basically, in my case, is an array of objects. And then I specify which keys of those objects I will be looking for, what should be the minimal length of the match B, and a couple more settings like threshold and ignore location. There is no need to go into details. If you're interested how fuzzy search works, definitely check the Fuse.js library and particularly the scoring theory the documentation to go what those threshold and location and distance properties mean. But this is how I tuned it for my use case. So given a search term or like search key, which is input value, I then configure a fuse object and then I ask it to search for that term and then give me the all results, which is the collection of fuse results. And since, as I have mentioned, use combo box hook is a part of a downshift library, which is the handless UI library for React. The UI itself is built using HTML and uh, Tailwind. And the interesting part here, though, is that 
For the drop-down list, I once again use raw virtualizer from the TanStack virtual. So when Fuse.js, using the search term with it, which is input value, finds all the search results, it sets them as a state, and that state is the basically items that allow me to create this use virtualizer hook, about which I have talked in the other video where I talk about difference between pagination and virtualization, which some people refer to as doom scrolling, which sounds more exciting. So the last interesting part here is that for each item, I get the card itself and all the matches that Fuse has found. For each card, there is only one match that is because I search only for one term. If there would be multiple terms, I would get multiple matches. I get only one match, which describe a found substring. So what I do then is that I fed those indices and the original value, which is the card title or card name, into this highlight substrings function and split that title or that card name into highlightable substrings, indicating which substring needs to be highlighted and which does not need to be highlighted. So I'm then able to visualize those matches using those substrings using this bold text. So basically original string is then broken down into a collection of substrings, some of which should be highlighted and some of them not. And then I just map over them when they need to be highlighted, they are bold and text gray 900, while the rest is just text gray 500. As a closing note, it's worth mentioning that in my project Fuse.js has even more potential because right now I showed you guys how I search for just one term, but that is easily can be expanded into multiple terms. For example, I can add search by card text and not just card title and other attributes. But if your application requires even more sophisticated search or you search through some extremely like content heavy application, then of course, something like Algolia search could be more interesting and they allow you to build for free up to 10k search requests per month. But for my project, anything more than Fuse.js would be an absolute overkill. I hope it was interesting for you and thank you for watching.